it's okay. It's okay. All right, so adventure bilan key. So a lot of chromatisms, a lot of tritons and semitons and half steps and all that good stuff. All right, so let's let's get to it. So the melody is gonna do something like this. It's gonna it's gonna be this. This is catchy. It looks like this. I'm gonna put it over here and I'm gonna start with uh, low horns and it's gonna sound like this. <laughs> Me see. Uh, so the second thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna thicken this melody with a little bit of uh, low brass forchato patch from Symphobia, patch that I like a lot. We're gonna do this in octaves and then we're gonna layer this. On top of this, we're gonna layer another pass of 12 horns, triple forte patch. This is gonna be a patch from Cine Brass, I believe. I'm gonna open them and gonna select the brass forchato crescendo. This sounds like this. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna double this. Three and so these 12 horns and it sounds like this so I'm gonna double these three So now what we're gonna have is sort of like a question and answer, so bam, da, 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 right? So we're gonna have the timpani bam, da, 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 with the low brass and I'm gonna use like the monster bass patch from Cine Sample as well. <laughs> have to cut the hand because we have a chord change. We don't want the A flat to still be underneath. Alright, now we're gonna enhance this with this monster brush team. Da -da -da -da. I think I'm gonna thicken this melody with tremolo cellos. Alright, cool. We're gonna enhance the anger of the timpani with a little bit of support with the Grand Casa as well as a little bit of maybe a double bass tremolo, something like this. Soup bomb, maybe something like this. Yeah, not as loud, but. Alright, double bass tremolo. Timpani. Or maybe instead what we can do here is this. And maybe we can enhance the melody a little bit more towards the end, adding a little bit of weight, adding like a top octave, like a higher octave towards the end with trumpet, something like this. Alright, so that's it, that's the main element, we've got the big melody, we've got some low notes for support. What I would do now is add some of the background elements, and now think that this is a big statement, right, big melodic statement. What we need 
behind that, even if it's background material, it's got to be, it's got to have quite a bit of weight. Careful not to conflict with it, but it still needs to have a lot of weight. So we're going to have the rest of the strings that you have. What I would do is I would create um, some, you know, to enhance this dark texture, I would add a little bit of um, darkness. And um, so either like a small cluster or a, or a, or a dark chord, um, you know, following the, the harmonies that we have. But if we have the melody here, right? At some point, it's even a three octave. So we got three, so <coughs> three, ta, 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 ta. So we've got a space here and here, right? And here to add that background material without conflicting with the main melody. And I would create some small little cluster, something that creates movement like taka, 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 maybe with like violins one, violins two, something like this. And the violins two the other way around. And that would create sort of this cluster. Maybe um, I would, with the lowest strings, we could have something similar here. All right, so something like this. This is the general idea. I had a lot of fun. I'll see you in the next one.